Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an Aries dealing with a Leo, then this reading might be for you. Take the messages how they resonate. We're going to see what's going on in the general collective energy between these two amazing star signs. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number nine. Power of number five. And power of number seven. Okay, it looks like we are going to the number 21. 21 in tarot is the world card. There could feel like there was an ending or is an ending. Toto's snoring. She's asleep right now on the floor, so she snores big time. <laughs> My little sidekick. <laughs> She's asleep. Anyway, there could have been an ending in this connection or you're waiting for some kind of a new phase or a new beginning Aries to happen between you and this Leo. This Leo could also be known globally around the world. Uh, maybe this Leo for some of you guys could be a celebrity, something like that. Um, however, you're wanting to see some kind of big, massive change in regards to this connection. We could see the Hermit card show up along with possibly the Hierophant. There could also be a higher level of commitment going on between you and this Leo. We could also see the Chariot card. Some of you Aries could be in a long distance relationship with this Leo. We can also see the Magician card. Somebody's been putting in manifestation work to draw this Leo in, meaning you possibly for some of you. And we could also see the High Priestess. You could have felt that there were a lot of secrets going on with this Leo or that they were withholding back a lot of emotion at certain times in the connection. We could also see not only just the World card, but we can also see the Devil card along with the Star card and possibly um, Leo energy coming in through the number 19, which is also the Sun card. So... Going to the power of number 21, Pisces versus, oh, excuse me, Aries. I just got done doing the Pisces Leo. Aries versus Leo. Aries versus Leo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, between Aries versus Leo? Show me what's up. Somebody needs to step up to the plate, or this could be a higher level of commitment that's already going on, or this Leo may have intentions, Aries, in order to marry you or bring the connection to a higher level of commitment. Mm -hmm. However, we do have to see how this King of Pentacles energy is going to evolve. This Leo could be in business. They could also be retired. Um... Mm -hmm. They've done well for themselves in some cases. Some of these Leos have, okay? There is a huge attraction. There's a massive attraction between the two of you. But maybe because of prior relationships, this Leo could have also been married. You could have also been married at one point in, the, in time. Maybe you are both divorced or if not, you know, this is just about a higher level of commitment that's trying to come in. Somebody here is getting mental clarity or this Leo had options or choices in love. You could have been one person and they were juggling maybe another person. This is something about direct communication or they're getting mental clarity about what this connection truly means or what its purpose is. Okay. But they could have also been very cold very cold unto you. They could have been clingy, na uh, nagging, codependent, etc. for some of you guys. Okay. 
maybe you you were just wanting them to just say it like it is instead of beating around the bush. Now, some of you Aries could be dealing with somebody who also works in the medical profession. They could be a doctor, a judge, a lawyer, a governmental official, EMT, or somebody who works in a technical uh, job, or they could be maybe an engineer. Also, too, maybe some of these Leos that you're dealing with, they could already be in business. They could also be a banker, a real estate investor real estate appraisal, somebody who could also be a contractor, there could also be manual labor involved, etc. Wow, Ace of Cups. So Aries, this Leo knows exactly how they feel about you, but it's a matter of them conveying certain words. They're not I can't say they're not bringing me any emotion. I feel their emotions have been buried deep down inside, okay? Here you are, Aries, coming in as the Queen of Wands. Male or female, doesn't matter. Okay, so there's like a tsunami of love that's trying to come in. And maybe some of you, Aries, felt that this Leo was love bombing you at one point in time and trying to decipher what's real, what's not. Is this Leo really being truthful? Are they going to step up to the plate? So the Ace of Cups can talk about a reconciliation, okay? Yeah, see, a lot of you were debating whether or not this Leo in truth was being trustworthy. You could have felt like they were sneaking around because they had other choices in love. And it's a very odd, rare scenario. But um, if you're heterosexual, you could have found out that your person is bi because there is a, like a same-sex energy or some of you are in a same-sex relationship. Okay. So because there's there's two male energies, it can also be two female energies. Take the roles how they resonate. But you may be having some trust issues with this Leo, okay? This is somebody also, too, that you could have dealt with that cheated on you. And you know for a fact that they cheated on you with another person. But yet, either they're trying to come in and steal your heart away again, Aries, to, you know, pump themselves up, make them look good in your eyes, Make themselves look good in your eyes so that you'll love them again or accept them again. Let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Oh my God, Toto is so loud. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So for some of you guys, when you met this Leo... I feel like it was like fireworks going off, like the sparks, the chemistry, everything. And this could have felt like a whoosh, like a whirlwind relationship that had kicked in at one point in time. You guys were connecting the things that you were talking about, talking about your past childhood, past relationships. And it could very well be true that both of you met each other maybe at a time frame where both of you could have been going through a healing phase, maybe getting over another relationship. So both of you, in truth, were like a distraction for one another to get over something from the past. That's what I'm picking up on. You came closer than anyone. So you know what that tells me, Aries? It doesn't matter where this Leo roams the land okay they're never going to get anybody better than you bottom line they're not going to they're not going to find anybody that has your energy they almost could have felt a little bit intimidated by you because they could see maybe a lot of you with inside of them and that could have also been a shock factor for them that could have made them wake up to the truth of the connection, but it could have also scared them at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
my life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, because this, what this is telling me, their emotional heart space, th their emotions were not regulated. They were all over the place, all over in their emotions, all over in their mental head space. So what this tells me is that in some form of the duration of the connection you had with Aries, that they weren't exactly making you their number one priority, but yet there was something undeniable. And I feel Aries that you were holding on, clinging on to this for some of you, because you could have even seen like this massive greatness in this Leo, you know, maybe being their number one cheerleader, trying to support them and show them your kindness and your empathy and your compassion and all of this. And yeah, sure. They could have been giving you a little bit of that. They still want you. They still want you in their life, but their approach is just a little, <clears throat> I like the Ace of Cups, but their approach is not, it doesn't, feel solid it just doesn't feel as solid as maybe as it used to be because they're still doing something behind the scenes here but yet they're looking for your energy everywhere they might even be driving by your house you know to to check in on you and you know now they could be having some deep-seated regret now they want to be more than friends. This could have been a friends with benefits situation that was going on at one point in time. The Knight of Swords. It's like they're wanting to fight off. Either it's a third party or they're wanting to fight off any kind of competition that could come in your direction. Like... It almost feels like they have this, I don't want to call it aggressiveness. Some of them could have been aggressive, but it's like they don't want to lose you. When I see that imagery there, it's like they don't want to lose you to somebody else. Like if anybody were to come in your way, don't you dare touch my Aries. Don't you dare come around my Aries. You know what I mean? It's kind of like very, whew over the top energy there, there there's like a little bit of a possessiveness that's going on here too yeah see they they know they've been moving slow aries they they know they've been trailing behind but the knight of pentacles is in fact the better the better knight okay they've just been going really slow and for you mm, I don't think a lot of you guys like that pace. You don't like slow. You like boom, boom, boom. Let's move it. Let's hustle, Leo. Let's hustle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move. And it's like trying, you know, if you're trying to push a lion, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, see, they know for some of you guys in certain situations that they, they they, they killed off the relationship, okay? They, they killed it off with their, their coldness or very blasé, blasé text messages, but a lot of them came in love bombing you, et cetera. You know, right now, proceed with caution. They're, they're going to try to come in, and if they know that you're dealing with somebody else, Aries, like... They're going to be over the top, like really highly possessive as if they've always been there or that they're showing that they were always consistent when they really weren't. The hermit. See, they got a lot to think about. Some of you may have like maybe a black Akita or maybe it's a, a German shepherd, etc. Somebody's into snakes. See, the snake represents healing. This Leo has been going through the dark night of the soul because they're under they're under a judgment call. A massive judgment call. That means that they're they're wanting to come in and revitalize this connection. But their game plan needs to be better. I feel like with the, the Seven of Swords, they're trying to strategize how they're gonna bring in this major cup of love just to prove something to you, but 
you're getting restless, Aries. I can feel like some of you guys are just getting very restless or tired of the same old, same old day in, day out routine or how this, this Leo treats you or how they strut into your life and strut right back on out. You know what I mean? Let's go into the Romance Angels deck. Yeah, see, some of them had codependency issues. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, some of you guys could have been dealing with the Leo who had an addiction. You deserve love. Spirit's trying to remind you that you are lovable. Even if this Leo massively broke your heart, Aries, there is chemistry, but again, they need to step up their A game. They've got a lot to apologize for, and they have to prove something. They have to massively prove that they're all in, right? Retreat. You know, they may tell you, it's like, I want to marry you. You're mine. You're my girl. You're my man, whatever. It says, it's time to disconnect from the world. You know, in truth, for some of you guys, there could have been distractions with this Leo, okay? That's why it's like my life is not together as it seems. They allowed distractions. I know I was a distraction from your pain, etc. They got distracted with X, Y, and Z reasons, and they just, the way I see it, they were not focused whatsoever. But they're going to try to strategize and come back on in and flirt. It says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I feel, yes, of course, it's, it is a past life connection. Or you feel like this person is your soulmate. No doubt. But do not take them back right away. You know, I think you, you should know this Leo's pattern by now, Aries. And... You know, I know that some of you guys like really want to see this work out. And I'm not saying that it can't, but there are some healthy boundaries that need to be placed. Again, I feel like you could have told this Leo to be like, if you can't come to me correct, don't come correct at all. Don't, don't even come. Don't come knocking on my door. Okay. Don't come knocking on my door thinking like, oh, we're, we're good now. Like we're cool. No, we're, we're not going to brush this under the rug anymore. So there was a lot of miscommunication, but I feel some of them are getting their just goods. And because we saw that judgment card, they're getting karma. They're getting karma for something here in this connection. My awesome and amazing Aries, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button uh, to know when um, new videos are uploaded to the channel as I make my way through all of the zodiac signs. And even so, um, maybe besides this Leo, you could be dealing maybe with another zodiac sign of interest. I will be having more uh, zodiac sign versus zodiac sign readings coming to the channel very soon. So stick around. And until next time, take care.